All right, lads, I got quite the interesting build for you today. I actually put this build together a while ago and was gonna make a video on it, but just never got around to it. It is a full arcane build that I like to call the Imp King. What you will need for this build is an occult forked greatsword with poisonous mist and an occult forked hatchet with poisonous mist as well. For my armor, I have the Imp Head Elder, and then the rest of the armor is just the Bull Goat set. If you'd like to see my stats and my talismans, both will be on screen. Now let's get goofy. You know what? I think today I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to just run some duels, no invasions. Oh my god, Frosty. Oh. God, dude, I tell you what, the Golem Halberd is a very cool weapon. Oh, there's the poison. But I mean, I, I'm not really sure, like, how good it actually is. Because, dude, it just feels like colossal weapons are, are really, really weak in PvP. And that's just always really been the case. Okay, Frosty, you're you're hitting the air right now. Like, what are you doing? Wait, hold on. Let's bring out this fork hatchet. Look how look how short this weapon is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh. Hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. How dare you disrespect the Imp King? Oh wait, that actually wait. <laughs> That did okay damage. Oh. Good fight. He's still fighting the shadow people. Okay, but nah, real talk. Look, <laughs> look how short this axe is. I'm pretty sure it's the shortest axe. This looks like some weird kitchen utensil. This doesn't even look like an actual weapon. Foolish meta TTV. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's that poison, baby. Oh, wait, I didn't hit. Oh, yeah, you know what the weird thing is about this sword? You see how it has, like, the split blade? The only issue is... Good fight. <laughs> the only issue is, is, like, the hitbox is no different. So it still hits as if the blade was just, like, perfectly straight. Super, super weird. Okay, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and switch off Poisonous Mist from the Fork Tatchet, and instead, I'm gonna put on Wild Strikes. Oh, okay, yeah, see, I like that a lot more. Yo, yeah. give me that poison. Yep. <laughs> Dude, great swords are so fast now. You can literally just spam attacks and just keep switching up the timings and just win. Here, sit back for a second and just picture what Elden Ring was like before the last patch. Is the game still in shambles? Yes, I, I, I am a firm believer that this game is never not going to be broken. But I mean, come on, great swords before patch 1.09, they were pretty obsolete. Who we got? Billy No Grace. Dude, did you get sunburned or something? Oh my god. Look at your skin. What happened? Good fight, Billy No Grace. Hopefully the aloe on my sword helped. Oh, we got a Crucible Knight. Absolute mad lad. I don't know, you seem pretty calm and reasonable to me. You want a taste of this fork? Okay, yep, yeah, I can't tank that. Wild Strikes isn't that powerful. All right, let's turn up here. Oh. Yup, and that is game. Good fight, mad lad. Poison builds, occult builds. I love them, dude. Poison is just so useful too, because it's one of those things where, you know, I, I, I think a lot of players are just gonna have boluses to deal with it. And you know, it's not as intense as Scarlet Rod or anything, you know, it's pretty tame. 
in terms of how much damage it does to you. The worst though is whenever you go up against somebody and they poison you and you don't have bolluses and then instead of like continuing the fight all they do is just run around the arena and just don't touch you and just let the poison kill you. It's it's <laughs> it's so lame but I, I, I don't know it's kind of funny. Okay you got dual coated. I have a feeling a lot of jumping attacks. Yep. Who would have guessed? But I swear anybody that uses dual coated, that is that is all they do. Hey, okay, there's the poison. There we go. Wait, I could probably tank these swords, right? <laughs> But hey, we technically got the victory there. We technically killed him first. You love to see it. I tell you what, the Imp King shows no mercy. Who we got? Molly, Faith Arc, okay. We got the Highland Axe, it seems. Here, I'll match you. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, chill, 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 chill. Oh, da oh! Ooh. Wait, hold on. Was that Dragon Maw? You Chad. Oh, God. Amazing range. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh! Madness. I hate madness. Look how that almost procced through my rolls. None of that even hit me. Dude, why doesn't this axe have a run-up attack? I feel like it totally should. The charged heavy needs to be a run-up. Oh, what in the world? Yeah, that's right. You tried pulling out that dragon head. I saw that shit. Who's this? Familia. Hello. Oh, my God going on with your with your armor choice this is strange oh that didn't roll catch <laughs> yo that was kind of an anime moment gg Dude, holy hell. I have been sneezing so much lately. I think it's just that time of the year where my allergies get awful. It's always around like April and May. And I'm always that dumbass that doesn't like take medicine before allergy season starts. Cause like that's how you're supposed to do it supposedly. It's like you have like the medicine and stuff already in your system before you start getting allergies. So then it just makes allergy season a lot easier and you, like you basically don't get allergies hold on i want to kill this person with the axe oh what's this really Unveil, huh wow very nice ritterman oh i see he has the Erd tree shield he did not want to deal with magic today Oh, the blade didn't hit though. But we still got the poison off. Good fight, Ritterman. If he would not have charged that up, I actually would have been screwed, I think. Helen Ol. Okay, we got a shunter. Come here. Come here. Come here. Watcha! Honestly, like, axes don't even have any range as it is. So, so this is just, uh... I mean, look, did you see that jumping attack? Look at that. But you can also do that if your opponent gets too cocky. So, that's a plus, I guess. Good fight, Pelinol. 
Now, for all you guys who are new to my videos, what I typically like to do is put each build on a fun scale. And I kind of take two things into account. How much fun I had with the build, you know, is it entertaining to use? And the second thing is, how good is the build? How practical is it? And when it comes to this Imp King build, I did have a load of fun, and I was a bit surprised with how effective this build actually is. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and give this build an 8.5 out of 10. Poisonous Mist plus Poise is very, very good. Both the Greatsword and the Axe attack very, very fast. So it's not hard to land Bleed or Poison at all. Like, let's be real, the Forked Hatchet is such an unassuming weapon. People probably saw me pull this out and honestly laughed, but that's the thing. You put Wild Strikes on it and it's actually effective. You can just really get in your opponent's face. They're probably gonna be confident because again, look at this weapon. But if your opponent isn't careful, they are going to eat multiple hits from the ax, bleed is gonna get procced, all of a sudden their health bar is just completely gone. Now the drawbacks. The Fort Hatchet is the shortest ax. I don't think I need to say anything more than that. And as for the Forked Greatsword, I think its drawback is also kind of the way the weapon looks, but the way the hitbox is, like you would think the top of it would have kind of a wider hitbox, you know, maybe a bit easier to get weird hits on people, but that's not really the case. It has the same hitbox as every other greatsword. The range on it isn't the best either. So yeah, other than the range on the weapons feeling awkward here and there, this build is still very, very effective. And I mean, come on, you see this face, you see this armor, how are your timbers not shivered? Anyways, guys, those are just my thoughts. If you have any thoughts on this build that you would like to make known, make sure to comment them down below. If you enjoyed the video, press the like. And as always, if you want to become a fellow Munker today, or in this case, a fellow Imp, click that subscribe and that noty bell. Thanks for watching, and thank you for all your support. Stay safe out there, or the Imp King will find you. That isn't a joke, I'm in your walls. See ya.